Good morning guys, we are back with my current morning routine. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I've been getting up around 7am these days because apparently I'm a dolphin. Okay, so an ad about sleep chronotypes came up on my Instagram and I'm a sucker for personal quizzes, so I did it and my result was that I'm a dolphin, which you can read more on that if you want, but I try not to go on my phone for long in the mornings. Usually I just answer any messages and then I try to avoid scrolling um, and then get up and actually make my bed. I do really like working out first thing, getting it over and done with, uh, but it also really energizes me for the day and definitely sets me up for a more productive morning. So today we went to the gym. I usually follow one of Abby, my friend's workouts, because otherwise I don't really know <laughs> what I'd be doing. Today it was this dumbbell leg routine, and then I finished with an inclined walk, which I also love doing at the gym. I keep my morning skincare pretty simple. Um, we're starting with this Ren AHA tonic. You guys know how much I love their products and their ethos. And then I use this Radiant Serum from Cote I love how brightening and moisturizing it is. And for my daily moisturizer, I then use Ren's Vitamin C Cream, which I've been using this for nearly three years straight. I love it. And then we have natural deodorant and we're done. my dishes in the evening so I usually start with that whilst I put on my coffee honestly I think it's kind of therapeutic to do them in the morning and like with exercising first thing or making my bed I think these little small tasks really ease my brain into the day and then when I do have to sit down for work I already feel like slightly fulfilled and productive How sweet is this mug? My friend Lola made it for me. Um, you guys know that reading more is definitely one of my main goals for the year. I read a lot last month, but this month I've been slowly getting through Breast and Eggs by Meiko Kawakami. I don't know why I've been quite slow, but it is really interesting. Um, I love the way she writes, and I don't really have any idea where it's going, so I'll keep you updated. Also, please ignore my chip nails. Um, but before I start work, I check my planner, my notion, I highlight any key things I have for the day, and then write out a to-do list so I can check things off. And then I'm doing this little brain dump in my journal. I've been pretty bad at journaling, so not doing anything fancy, just stream of conscious thoughts, feelings. I usually ruminate over things that are making me anxious, which is not productive at all. So at least writing things down gets out of my mind and it seems smaller once it's on the page, which is always nice. I really like 
listening to a podcast when I'm getting ready, the deliciously a la bite-sized ones are always a perfect length of time, really interesting. And I don't know, anyone else who lives alone, I think it's really nice hearing voices um, and people talking in the morning. Uh, this is me realizing that I also have to put on my jewelry. My everyday rings are from Majuri, of course, and Kira and Misha. So before I start work, I like going for a walk in the mornings or sometimes walking to a cafe to go and get work done there. There's so many studies about why getting morning sunlight, especially before 10 a.m., is great for like your sleep cycle and mental health and mood. Um, for me, my sensitivity to light, I feel like is especially heightened. I think I'm a cat. I just want to like lounge in sunlight all the time. But unfortunately, my flat doesn't get any direct sunlight which I did ask the landlord about before I moved in. So I try to get out and get some vitamin D. And then when I'm back, we have breakfast or brunch. And guys, I have been obsessed, like obsessed with making savory porridge. I saw this recipe in one of Nina Montag's videos. I love her channel and I had to try it and can confirm it is one of the most tasty things, like so creamy, so comforting so much better than sweet porridge yeah if you take anything away from this video please please make this such a simple nutritious vegan meal i've now started eating it for lunch and dinner because i just can't get enough of it but yeah i guess that closes off my morning routine um oh remember to drink lots of water i didn't really show that but that's essential drink water have a beautiful day enjoy the small moments and yeah i guess that's it Lots of love. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.